color field painting takes me to Rotko. Rotko diceva l'immagine deve essere un qualcosa che non è eh, non è definita e la definisco con il colore. This technique says that the figure is not only defined by the drawing, but it can be by the color. Even one or two colors can represent intense emotions, and this is a form of abstraction coming from the unconscious. Che viene dall'inconscio. Il dripping che usava Pollock era Pollock's dripping was rebellion was his need to express his complex relationship with his mother, who was overbearing. This made him a rebel who refused the schemes. The color was his meaning of expression for all this. Grande, insomma, combatteva no? l'idea di questa madre pre... addetta sua prepotente. No? Lui era il più piccolo di cinque figli e quindi si sentiva un po' soggetto da, questo, da questa figura. He used images also for his psychoanalysis sketches left to his in analysis to help him understand his soul. In the big artwork, Moral, commissioned by Peggy Guggenheim, Pollock probably expressed his unconscious torments. After months of creative block, he realized it in the first day of 1944, in the grip of a vision coming from his childhood years in the West. Pollock era stato proprio in analisi perché aveva, mm, sicuramente aveva delle espressioni che erano inusuali. Jackson Pollock was born in 1913. He was one generation younger than the pioneers of the abstract expressionist movement. He looked at the great mannerists like Tintoretto, El Greco and maybe Michelangelo. He had contacts with his contemporaries like Thomas Benton, who was a painter of reality, older than him and in the Edward Hopper's line. The encounters with Mexican Orozco and Siqueiros wild expressionisms were a crucial moment in the formation of his style. He puts on a single frame the cultural patterns of European tradition and the native models of primitive expressionism. <laughs>